What is up, Meshtastic family? I just want to do a really quick video on something that I am quickly learning is a big, big, big problem, and I want to make sure that it's on everybody's radar because a lot of people getting into this do not have the equipment that I have, and they are not necessarily able to uh, test all of this stuff or even know that this is a problem. And uh, so here we have, uh, you know, this is just an example. I know that these are not good antennas, but this applies across the board, and I happen to have a bunch of these to be able to show what I'm talking about. Well, this is a DIY mall 915. Okay, this has one that I actually modified to actually be in the general close, ball, very close ballpark of 906.875, which is what, you know, everybody for the most part in the United States frequency-wise is using. Here you have a slightly, I believe, they, they look almost the same, right? They, like they are very much so close. Um, this one is not marked DIY mall. This is the ones that come with the rack boards. Um, and this one, ironically, is not even close at all. Um, the DIY mall ones, ironically, are uh, low. Uh, they are actually coming in at 868, whereas the, uh, the ones that are not marked to DIY mall, these are the ones from rack, are actually coming in closer to 930. Now, in the situation where we have a, a low uh, frequency like this, um, you're actually, you can trim a tiny bit off of the internal antenna to actually tune it to actually be 906, which is what this one's at. And I'll, uh, I'll come over here, I have another one that I tuned right here. I have my Nano VNA. And before anything, uh, just for all the haters in the building, um, let me show that it is calibrated to this uh, connector right here. I added an extra connector. It is calibrated and it is good. It is not, it is completely uh, open. And if I go ahead and I attach, let's go ahead and take the one that's 868, the one that I'm telling you is 868. It's, it's marked 915, but it is not 915. Um, if I come here, you'll see that that dip is way the hell over there. All right, if I move the marker kind of close to where it is, hey, look, we're at eight, eight, seven, eight. You know, it, it's it's not even close, which means this antenna would really realistically need to be shortened. Well, how do you do that? Um, quite simple. You just wiggle the end off. Put my phone down for a second just to do it. Eh. But yeah, you just wiggle it back and forth and you'll be left with something that looks like this. Now, when you try to take a measurement with that cover off, it's gonna be completely wacky and weird and not realistic to what the actual antenna is. So don't actually look at this thing while the cover is off, okay? But as you can see, um, it's wildly all over the place. It's not even close to where it was before. Now it's saying it's like somewhere in the 900 and the high 900s is where that dip is probably. But if I go ahead and I take this guy back off and I attach one of the ones that I actually modified here, again, all I did, all I did here was I just took maybe half a turn off of the, uh, off the antenna, you know, off of this spring. Um, and you want to do it as small bits at a time, but you can always make the frequency higher. But if the frequency is too high, it is next to impossible to add wire to, you know, to improve the improve the frequency match, the resonance match. Now, if I bring this guy back up, this is after tuning, and again, this is after I shortened it a little bit. You'll see that our dip is much closer. Now, the, the one I'm looking for, 906.875, is right in the middle of my screen. Like, that's where I have the scaling set. And you will see that that dip is pretty damn good. I mean, we're, we're sitting right in the middle of it. Um, if I move the thing around, you'll see, okay, maybe we're not exactly perfect, but the point is, is that we are well within that dip and, you know, it's going to move around based on the, the, the placement of that you have this thing. If you're holding it on this side, for example, it's going to give you one, one, one uh, measurement over here. It's giving you a different measurement. So realistically, you kind of need to find the same testing location and you need to try to just let it be and take a general measurement across all of it just visually, and this antenna is for the most part tuned. And you'll see that little green marker, it's a little bit resistive, but like it's very close to the center. It's not bad at all. 
Um, and the other thing I note, note is that the uh, if I go here to my measurement and I turn on my resonance measurement, you'll notice that uh, a lot of the time it's going to measure it as something way higher than what it actually is. What I'm looking for is that yellow line and I'm looking for that dip. And I want the dip to be as close to my uh, intended intended frequency as possible, right? So as you can see, when I hold it here, it's a little bit high. It's going to move around a little bit. If I hold it here, let me bring this guy back to 8, uh, eight, six, eight, nine, six. You'll see that this antenna is properly tuned. Now, really quickly, just as a last reference here, I want you guys to see the rack antenna, right? So this is a this is one that came from rack. And they look the same as these other ones, but they are just quite simply they are not. Um, uh, and this one is actually tuned to too high a frequency, which means there's not a damn thing I can do to fix these. Um, I'm not going to be adding wire, but as you can see, that dip on this particular one, it's like it's almost not even there. And if I hold it the right way, yeah, sure, might might be the somewhat lo right location, but this one is just, it's just not there. The, the frequency is set to is like closer to 925. Um, 926, maybe 930. So definitely get yourself an Nano VNA if you're getting into this stuff. They're like 45 bucks. They're worth every damn penny, and I cannot suggest it enough. Helps with everything that I'm doing. And after frequency matching these things, guess what? I see lots more nodes now. I'm seeing currently with this little baby antenna. Oh, 60. I saw like 65 before. And uh, 80 on, my, on some of my other units. Thank you, Las Vegas. Our mesh community is awesome. But yeah, there you go, guys. Just figured I'd share.